Hi guys, I'm Naga the Gem, and welcome to my rating of fairy tale openings of first season. I already kind of reacted and I'm like, I watched them all, but usually I just watch it once. So it would be pretty cool to watch it again and to watch like all the openings from the first season, which is like 14 openings, and to kind of see the differences and which one I like the most. Yeah, I'm very interested and I guess I'm just going to start it. So listening to it one by one. Okay, Snow Fairy by Funkist. Mm. Oh wow, I still remember this one. This one is pretty good. Actually, really good. All the main characters, Natsu. Everything is so far like I like how peaceful it is. <laughs> you know the adventure and such. And then comes the crazy adventures. Mm. So there were heads of Erza and Jalal being a thing importance. <laughs> Makarov looks so funny back then. I kinda forgot. That was interesting monster. Oh yeah and baby Natsu with Igneel cute. That's when Erza fought each other. I don't remember that. Okay, whoa, 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 stop it. Okay, I don't really remember. Natsu and Erza fought. Well, he was always like trying to defeat Erza or prove that he is strong, right? So the rivalry thing. But this was like very peaceful opening. Kinda not that many fights happening. Just some crazy funny adventures, which actually is at the start of fairy tale it's more of a funny crazy adventure so the story is kind of hitting a little bit later on <laughs> yeah i don't really like it it's not a bad song like it's not one of the best songs because like i've said many times this is not my kind of music i usually listen but it's not bad it's really not bad yeah <laughs> oh boy this is going to be a lot of fun so going to continue with the second one so sense of wonder by idling okay again the main characters showcasing A lot of cheerful songs, actually, I would say. Mmm. Okay, showcasing the powers. That's pretty cool. Not bad. I do really like this part of the song. Still a lot of goofiness. Some past. Mmm. Yeah, these openings are very spoilery, though. I like that. It's like very cheerful, but I like hints. Oh, my favorite. One of my favorite arcs. This is one of the best arcs, Phantom Lord. I think he's, it's my like second, third most favorite arc in this. It's so good. Because it was the first arc I really felt tensed. But I wanted to say that I do really like about her head tale that lot of fanzies and such and then it's like gets serious okay this is going to be hard this is going to be hard for sure <laughs> oh my oh my god well i would say 
the first one is definitely better than this one. This one is not bad, and I really like some like visual things they did. But a snow fairy is definitely better. At least so far, yeah. I really like it. Now there should be a third one. FD Bun Funkist. Okay. This starts nicely. I like the voice of the singer. Oh, Erza and some other characters showing the seriousness a little bit. Oh, so so much sad things happening. I definitely can't wait for rereading this because I wasn't enjoying Fairy Tale that much at the start. Especially some characters. I remember not liking Jela much, but I love him now. So I feel like I would enjoy some arcs more in rest in retrospection. And this is pretty cool fight. Yeah, now it shows more fighting. Herza. This one is really good too. Oh my god, this is actually hard. <laughs> this is hard. This is hard. This is hard. Well, I think Snow Fairy is probably still the best. This one is second the best. And then is the second opening. So, Sense of Wonder. This one is good. Also, like, visually good too. Yeah, so it was around Tower of Heaven arc. Okay, this is really cool, the background with all the characters. Yeah. So, the third one. RPG Rock and Plane Game, Sug. Okay, this one is weird. <laughs> Interesting. It's like all the openings are so cheerful for most of them. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> My most favorite arc. If it is the one I think it is. When was the Battle of Fairy Tale? Maybe it was later on or this time? Oh, yeah, this time, definitely. I like this arc so much. It was su such a great arc. <laughs> yeah, and really great fights. And I really loved this fight particularly. It was amazing. Oh yeah, and Mira. <laughs> and this, oh! That was so cute and so sweet. Everyone showcasing. Oh my goodness, guys. So cool. Oh, don't be so quick on me. Okay, the board opening. The board opening. Oh my my. So, I think it will be the third best. The first one is Snow Fairy still, the first one. Then there is... The third one, then third one and the second one. Second one is still the weakest one. Yeah. Absolutely, I feel like, yeah. This one, like, wasn't that bad. But first one, the second one was kind of like... Uh, I would need to, like, watch it again. It's so hard to decide. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now, this is Ega no Maho. Magic part is the name of the band. What? Okay, they went too quick. Ah, this one is really good. Okay. 
This one is really good. I like the voice. I really like the voice of the singer. And Wendy. Oh my god, the Wendy introduction. <laughs> was so cool. And introducing all of these another girls. Oh, still yellow. Oh. This wasn't a bad arc either. There were some like really cool fights. This is such a good song. And Lucy had a really amazing like episode episode in this arc. I really loved that one. Yeah, this is like song I would expect from ending because it's like not that epic I would say. But it's really good. Oh my god. Yeah, this one is really, really good. I think this one is the second best. Yeah. Definitely the second best. Yeah, I do really like this one. <laughs> I would need to like listen to it again and decide. But I feel like this one is the second best. Yeah. Okay, a guy on a maho. It was such a sweet song. Okay, another one. Number six. Ah, oh, the fiesta by A plus 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 plus. Okay, this one is like kind of groovy. Wanna dance to it? Ah. Some characters in their past, cute. Yeah. Like I said, almost all the openings are so cheap for them, But it like gets very well with the theme of this anima. Nice visuals. Okay. Despite the seriousness of something. Ah, oh, this was such a, such an epic thing when it happened. I really loved it. Yeah. Golden Flame Natsu was so cool. Okay. Some cool display. I like it. Ah, oh, the sad hairs are no. <laughs> no, don't put the sad hairs in there. That hurts my heart. Okay. Okay, this is not going to be easy. This is not going to be easy at all. God damn it. Well, still Fairy and Aga on the Maho still. First and second best. Then. I think this is the, that was like, the Fiesta was the third best. Yeah, I really like that one. Absolutely. I'm going to listen to the best of it again. Okay, yeah, Fiesta is definitely the best one. Now for the seventh opening. Evidence. Okay, and the next one. Oh, Evidence by Daisy Daisy. This is Edoas arc, hmm? Okay. Oh my god. Actually, I'm realizing that I'm I'm really really liking female voices in their in openings, especially in fairy tales. Like the songs with male voices, I'm not feeling it that well. But with female voices, somehow they feel really good. This one is really good song too. Uh all the Adela's stuff. Hmm missed again. And it wasn't bad. It was interesting, Ark. There was some like really cool chat. This is so good song. Oh. oh, this was such a... Oh, 
It's so hard to decide. Is it Snow Fairy, Agana, Maho, or Evidence? These are really great songs. Can't decide which, which are the best ones. Mm. Need to listen to Egal Nomaha again and decide. Okay, I think I like the evidence the most. <laughs> Such a great song. Oh my god, it's really hard. Like the female singers. I don't know, like, I don't know what they did, but like every song with female singer like in these openings are really so good i don't know what is happening that's weird so weird unusual for me actually like not that i don't like female singers but like i usually prefer males in openings many of my favorite openings anime openings have male singers so i'm like what is happening fairy tale is such a Weird anime. <laughs> it has a different kind of very fresh, different take on shonen, and many people just don't like it. Has great females. Has amazing fan service. I don't know what is happening with this anime. <laughs> okay, the eighth opening. Hmm. Yeah, it's this one. I do really like this one. Jamil, the rock city boy. Ah, oh, this is still Adolas, right? Rock city boy. Okay, this one is really great. Oh, Coco! What version of Coco are Ida Rebel? I only love her so much. Yeah, this is showing some cool moves. Erza versus Erza was amazing too. This one was, was so cool. Some really cool scenes. This was so like creepy. I love that. Charles and her mother, I think. Missed again. Okay. Wow, so many things were happening in Andalas. Can't wait for rereading. And Panther Lily. Panther Lily, it's so cute. Panther Lily, it's so cute, cute. Okay, this one was really good. Where, where I should put it? Well, evidence is still the best. Snow Fairy, right behind it. Ega no Maho still behind it. But then, okay, so this one, the Rock City Boy, is the fifth best opening so it's evidence evidence snow fairy again the maho the rock city boy fiesta ft rpg <laughs> did you what and sense of wonder okay okay now it's going to be another opening getting getting a little bit back Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're getting fun with this. Okay. Tawa no Kizuna. Mmm. This one is good too. Daisy Daisy. Didn't we have from Daisy Daisy before? I like this one. Yeah, it's the song which has such a old anime vibes. <laughs> but I love it. It brings me back to my favorite old anime. This one is so good. <laughs> Tenro Island. So much crazy things happening in that arc. <sighs> Not to. Zeref! I wanna know more about Zeref. I almost forgot! Zeref said that he know Natsu or something like that, right? Weird. I definitely forgot about it, but now I just remembered. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my Jesus, this is hard. 
This is hard. This is so, so hard. So goddamn hard. Hmm. Okay, I guess I will give this one the first place, but then I will need to listen to, to the songs again. But I really love this one. <laughs> oh my, this one was so good. Yeah, I just... Because I watched so many like old anime from like 90s or 2000s, like early 2000s, but especially 90s. And there were like a lo lot of pretty cool openings, you know, those were like my first anime. So I do really love these, like that feeling. <laughs> and it gives me like having 90 vibes, anime vibes, like from anime I watched. Yeah, like Inuasha and Slayers and this kind of stuff. I don't know how old is Inuasha though. Is it from 90s? I don't remember. Maybe it's 2000. <laughs> yeah, but I... Tava da Kizuna by... By Daisy Daisy. There was like one another by Daisy Daisy, right? If I'm not mistaken, I feel like. Yeah, so I need to go to the another one. And it's called I Wish. Don't really remember that one at all. I wish. Masuwa Katsubasa. Okay. Okay, I'm not feeling this one that much. Mm, not that it's bad, but it just doesn't have feel like the other openings. Okay. Yeah, this one, I don't like it that much. Like, compared to the others. It's not a bad song, but like, compared to the other openings, I'm not feeling it at all. So, I guess this one is probably the worst one. Yeah. Oh my. So... Going to 11th one, Hajimari no Sora. This one. By what? Ah, plus plus again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Not that I would expect it. Ah, oh, Lucy. Okay, it's this arc. Hmm. Key of the Starry Sky, it's called. This this song is definitely better than the previous one. <laughs> like, way, way better. Not bad, but I'm not feeling this one again that much. Like, the previous openings had, like, Complete different cheerful vibe like this one too, but it, it just feels so different And it doesn't fit compared to the other openings Yeah Oh wow This is not going to be easy Well, I'm going to listen to the old ones again yeah, Hajimari no Sora probably the second worst. <laughs> I don't know, like these last two, I'm just not feeling them. Weird. But yeah, so next song should be Tenohira. Tenohira by Hiro. Okay. Oh, Lucy. Lucy in this arc. Oh my goodness. This one is pretty good. Oh, I really love the boy and his group in this arc. They were so cool. Like, what a character progression. Okay, again, this, this one has that fairy tale love back oh these two i need more of them please give me more of 
goes to. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, got Jill. I mean, Jill darts, <laughs> but it starts with G, so it's confusing for me. Jill darts, yeah, Jill. Two different people. <laughs> me and names. Okay, this one was pretty good. Oh my. Oh my my. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not so easy. Why? <laughs> I thought this is going to be easier. Okay, the Tenohira is the fifth divorce. <laughs> but it doesn't mean it's like the wrong one. <laughs> yeah. It's it's pretty hard to decide, not gonna lie. I changed a few bits here and there. And now we're getting to the ending arc. There is only two left. So, breakthrough, going underground. Okay, I should remember this because it's not that long time ago I listened to them. Hmm, yeah, it's this one. Oh, this one is such chill sounding. Ah, uh, again, guilt. Guilt showcased. Ah, uh, the last two episodes of the first season. Oh my god, especially the last episode. Jesus Christ. Okay, not a bad song. But again, they are just some way better ones. It's kind of sad because the first half, well, more than the first half of the openings, is really good. And then it's kind of like, eh, eh. I do really like a lot of, like, so many great openings at the start. As well as kind of like, eh, not bad, but just, they are better ones. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, this is not going to be easy again. Okay, now listening to the last one, at least, of this. Fairy tale, yeah, Yakusoku no Hill, is it called? Okay, wait a minute, <laughs> I need to go a little bit further. There's a breakthrough. Okay. Again, yeah, this one feels so like oldish too. Yonekura Chihiro. Hmm. I like this one. <laughs> I'm weird, I know. Again, female voice, and this has such a good, great, good atmosphere is opening. Vocally. Brings emotion. I like this one so much too. And visual aids are really good too. Ah, oh, the last two episodes were so good, especially the last one. Ah, oh. I don't know what what is this like. What style of music is this? But I do really like it. <laughs> okay, that's the end. I don't wanna get spoiled. Oh my my, this is going to be hard. Yeah, 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 I don't know <laughs> how good this one is. Help me. <laughs> okay, so I have my list. But the fact that I usually am not into this kind of music. Good job, I do really like these openings. 
Yeah, what is your favorite opening? So I can wait for other openings if they like would be as good as this. Yeah, and uh, I will probably do endings too because Fairdell has good endings also. I really love the Chibi Dean. Yeah, but sadly, apparently, it, it's not continuing in other continuations of fairy tale which makes me kind of sad because i do really love these cute chibi endings but cannot do anything about it yeah but the songs with female singers they, they were like picking really good ones not gonna lie really great ones yeah so i think that's all for this video and i will probably and I, I can't really wait for the second season and third season. Oh my. For real. And it depends if they will decide to do anime on the continuation, like a uh, 100 quest arc. Or how is it called? I will watch it too. If not, I will probably read the manga, yeah. Because I'm very interested. It's continuation, so I definitely want to see. I hope they will make anime on it, please. <laughs> please do it, because I'm I'm really enjoying fairy tale anime. Like, yeah, it, it's I'm saying that a lot. It's not perfect, but it's just that it's very cheerful, very positive. It's about connection between characters, like family and friendship, but more of a family. And that's like very strong bond. And I do really love that it's just about that bond, you know, because family is important and friends too. Many people don't like it, but like power of friendship happens in every anime manga, you know. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> like it happens in every shonen. I've seen it many times. It just. Because in fairy tale is such a strong theme, it's kind of like more prominent and more obvious because that's the point of it, you know? But hey, I guess people don't like it. I don't need characters dying because I do really enjoy them and like characters dying doesn't mean like the story is good. Though, if you decide killing kill characters, then kill them, please. <laughs> because I don't really like reviving of characters. I I'm not a fan of that. So I would rather have characters not dying than dying and magically coming back. I mean, it, it can still happen in Fairy Tale. But like in some other shonen, it it's more of that and people love it even despite that. So yeah, like in Naruto, so many characters died. In certain arc, and everyone was brought back, and that pissed me a lot because I did not really like it. Despite there were some of my very very favorite characters, yeah, don't do that, <laughs> nah. And in One Piece, like Oda kind of makes it like, oh yeah, this character horrible thing, it's probably dead, but they are not. I don't really like that either. Like Pound, no, <laughs> Pell, no. These two, not a fan. Absolutely not a fan. Yeah, also that one dude from Skype, yeah. It would be like pretty cool tragically, so not a fan of that. So I would rather be if the characters won't die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please, rather don't kill them than bring them back. But like I've said, still can happen in Fairy Tale. Hmm. Well, yeah, so I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.